Hey guys, what is going on? It's Penicept here, and I have another single player mod for you guys. This is a really, really, really awesome mod. I talked about it a little bit in my um, Let's Play. I'm not sure if you guys have watched that yet. If you haven't, go ahead and watch it. Uh, link will be in the description. Also, link will be in the description for the download. Also, this mod does need downloader. I mean, downloader. This mod does need mod loader. Sorry, I can't talk. But yeah, right now this mod is currently in beta version, and this mod is the Zeppelin's mod. And this mod is created by um, Black, Mag Black Magic, I guess you can pronounce it like that. And uh, yeah, this is a really cool mod. But right now, the crafting recipe, in my opinion, I don't really like it. I, I'm sure it will be changed, but right now it is sort of unfair just because it's... Um, it's kind of really cheap. I mean, like, that takes no time at all to get, and you get something pretty powerful. In my opinion, it should be something along the lines of, like, I don't know, something like this. Like, needs a diamond, and then, like, surrounding it in gold. Something like that. I don't know. Something along the lines of that for the craft controller. That's what I think, anyways. But anyways, I'll show you what this is. You might be wondering, what the hell are you supposed to do with a craft controller? So I'm going to get some wood here, and I'm going to get some glass and a bunch of stuff like that and okay what I can do with this is make an aircraft and also there is this doesn't work with all blocks you can't do this with um, grass dirt bedrock water lava sand gravel snow ice and like mushrooms flowers reeds stuff like that obviously um, but yeah let's check this out so I'm just gonna make a simple aircraft I guess you could call it and Let's make it similar to this. Uh, the maximum size is uh, 1,021, I believe. And I don't think I don't believe there's a minimum size. I don't think so, anyways. I'm kind of just doing a random shape right now, to be completely honest with you. So, and let's see how it turns out. So we'll do this. Fill this in. I was gonna fill this in with glass, actually. That's what I wanted to do, so I can kind of show you guys what it looks like. So, I should have probably pre-built this, but it doesn't really matter. It doesn't take too much time. That's the nice thing about this. You can build any size you want. There's no restrictions. Well, obviously you can't build it too big, <laughs> but other than that, there's no restrictions. So let's just create this. As you can see, just a simple aircraft sort of thing. Not even really an aircraft. It's just something simple. And, um... Yeah, let's try this out now, and I just want to do this, and let's get another one of these. Or no, we'll just go with one, and place this here or something. Okay, well anyways, now we have a simple aircraft sort of thing, and to start it up, we can just right-click, and as you can see, found aircraft size of 68, so that is all the blocks. So what we can do to start off is we can go to our, pretty much, um, our keypad, and we'll go to the plus or minus button. You can also do this on the. I'm just. I just said keypad, but you don't need to do, use that. So I'm going to do um, plus, and this is ascending it one um, at speed one. I can ascend it to speed two, three, four, five, and etc. to about ten. Also, I can go. I can descend it to negative, and it's around ten as well. So all really cool. Also, we can set the speed by pressing eight. 8 will, and we can set this to 10 as you can see. 5 will completely stop the aircraft, set everything to 0, so that is cool. And 2 will descend speed, pretty much just set it to when you really want to stop, like slow down a lot. That's what you do. And uh, you obviously can't go negative speed, wouldn't make any sense. Um, so yeah, that's how you stop it to pretty much turn and stuff like that. Let's t get a little bit of speed. What you can do is press 6 to rotate to the right, and then you can press 4 to rotate to the left. So pretty much changing it, you can rotate very li fairly nicely. As you can see, you can also move around in the aircraft. We're getting a little bit of lag when you move around, but it's only because the, uh, the speed is at 11. We can Now I will set this to 0 again, and we're going to pretty much, let's just play around with this a little bit. Um, so as you can see, we can walk around. You cannot break, in, break any of the blocks, but you can also, but you can't, um, you can still walk on them. So really cool there. Um, as you can see, we're passing right by it. If you jump out of the aircraft, you're screwed. It doesn't stop for you. If you right click again, craft rejoining world, it is now, uh, has now rejoined the world. And if you want to make changes to your aircraft, even in the air that is possible, you can do this. So there you go. 
And yeah, the also really, really cool thing about this is this will work in the Aether. So you can use this in the Aether to um, pretty much go around. That's why I'm saying it's kind of unfair to with uh, the crafting recipe that it is currently using. Uh, I'd really like to see that changed. Uh, but anyways, found craft size. And as you can see, it. I think the block texture changed to the other side. Er, I don't know what happened to it. There was a steering wheel. <laughs> anyways, let's, let's actually... Um, take this up a little bit and increase the speed so and we're gonna go to the right okay I'm lagging a little bit it's all generating new and I'm gonna slow this down okay so what I believe it's doing is going in the direction that you place the block so what I'm gonna do is rejoin this craft to the world and I'm going to I believe it's good now no okay let me rejoin it to the world break it and you can break it with your hands and grab it and let me place a block behind this so it will properly know the direction that I want it to go in um, hopefully this will work, I'm just assuming this will work so let's try this, okay there we go so this means that it will head this way so once it's 71 now so we can increase the speed and we'll turn it to the right as you can see before it was kind of glitching out a little but now it's fine. It wasn't glitching out, it was just doing, uh, going in a different direction. So I'm actually descending it right now. And um, what I'm going to show you is pretty much what it is like when it crashes. And I know crashing, why crash it, but it's... I'm um, just let me get this to around this. So I'm not going to actually crash, crash, but as you can see it hits it and it moves up. So it is nice. It does not get stuck it just tries to move away from the block to the next open block so it is really cool what this does um, so yeah the as, as you can see working really nice for a beta version of this mod I mean this is in beta still working very nicely there is a little bit of lag but I, this is not due to the mod this is due completely to the fact that there is a lot of uh, there, the world is generating a lot so as you can see you can also just slowly take it down by pressing 5 and then descending it so really really easy to park and everything like that and as you can see it is now brought down crafters running world you can get off as you can see really awesome uh, I'm really liking this mod I'll, as I said before the link is in the description for the download to this uh, but anyways guys thanks for watching uh, please remember to comment, rate, and subscribe and later